Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. I'm excited to share with you how FIDC has been managing refrigerated and frozen containers at our Incheon terminal for the past three years. Currently, we handle a wide variety of goods, including biomedical shipments from Samsung, and fresh products like frozen, fruits, and drinks for major coffee franchise chains. Today, I'll take you through the entire flow of how goods are transported from the shipper's warehouse to our cold storage facility. So, here we are, at the shipper's warehouse. The shipment we're dealing with today consists of pharmaceutical raw materials that must be kept between 17 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius throughout the entire export process. We're loading the cargo into a refrigerated truck. As you can see, the temperature control is crucial for ensuring the product's integrity. Now, let's get into the truck. Wow, it's quite high up here. Inside, we have a temperature monitoring system that tracks the internal temperature of the cargo in real time. This is especially important today because we're in the middle of a hot Korean summer, and the temperature outside is over 30 degrees Celsius. The drive can get a bit boring at times, but it's all part of the job. We're heading to a packing facility first, where the cargo will be carefully prepared for further transport. Since this cargo is very sensitive to temperature, we've already made all the arrangements to ensure everything is ready for immediate packing as soon as we arrive. Here we are. These 48 drums of pharmaceutical raw materials will be packed securely onto pallets and fastened tightly. That fastening tool you see right there. It costs around 2 million Korean won pretty impressive for a small piece of equipment, right? Once the packing is done, the cargo needs to be moved quickly back to our cold storage. Throughout this process, we ensure the cargo is exposed to as little sunlight as possible, as exposure could compromise the quality of the goods. Luckily, the packing facility is only about 5 minutes away from our warehouse. So as soon as we arrive, we'll immediately place the goods into our refrigerated storage. One question we often get is whether airplanes have temperature control for cargo? The answer is no, there are no built-in temperature control systems inside most planes. To keep cargo at the correct temperature, you'd need to book a refrigerated container, which can be quite expensive since it's charged both ways. For lower value cargo, this cost can be a burden. As a result, many shippers prefer to maintain temperature control throughout the inland, transport, and storage process and then import the goods at a refrigerated temperature once they reach the destination country. This allows importers to maintain the quality of the cargo without incurring excessive shipping costs. Thanks to our efficient and reliable services, SITC continues to work with some of Korea's leading companies, handling their shipments with the highest standards. Our global partnerships allow us to stay competitive and provide world-class logistics solutions. Thank you for watching, and I hope this gave you a better understanding of how we manage temperature-sensitive cargo. See you in the next video.